in this lecture we are going to talk about some practical tips to apply when it comes to scamper. Let me tell you that knowing scamper does not guarantee results. The effectiveness and the depth of your involvement determines the success. In the initial stages you may not find much success by applying scamper principles. In fact you may also feel that what's new about the scamper so you may give up. But I would recommend that make scamper a habit. Write down the letters scamper and put it in your wallet. Every time you open the wallet it triggers you to see that and that way you would be able to make this a habit that you face a challenge you think on the same lines as scamper. The principles of scamper look appealing there is no doubt about it. But the biggest benefit that you would get from it is only by making it a habit. If you are facing a lot of challenges in your day to day situations then see how I can use this principle. For example, if someone is parking his car in your parking slot, can I apply scamper there? What if I am getting late to office? What are the reasons? How can I solve the problem? Can I apply scamper? Yes, why not? What if my customers are not happy with me? Can I apply scamper? What if I am not able to beat my budgets? Can I apply scamper? So there are hell a lot of opportunities to apply scamper everywhere. In fact you can apply it to many of our social problems as well. If you make it a habit to apply scamper in such situations, I can promise you that at the end of it you will have unique and practical solutions and you will be creative, you will be happy, you will be contented and others will recognize you as a creative person. Now talking about advanced application of scamper, I would say also try to apply one or more principles of scamper simultaneously. Combining multiple principles of scamper to arrive at a given solution is also quite a common approach. For example, you can start by putting a fabric washing machine to a different use but soon modify or simplify it as per the requirement. Hence, look for opportunities to apply several rounds of scamper on the same problem as you are evolving. Next, I want to talk about interchangeability. There is no single correct way to come up with a particular solution or idea. Scamper only seeds ideas in your mind. Different people may use different principles but they may end up with the same solution. I talked about it earlier in one of the lectures. Hence, it's only the solution that is important to us and not the principle that we have adapted. Don't be very sticky about the principle. The last point I want to emphasize is that simplification of the scamper itself can be a great way to demonstrate your creativity. We talk about scamper principles, so can I apply those principles on scamper itself? In some special situations such as process improvement, we recommend that the use of the following principle of scamper has derived better results. Start by identifying if you can eliminate a process step altogether. If you cannot do that, consider if you can reduce the time that is consumed by that particular process. If even that is not possible, explore opportunities to simplify the process. Finally, even if that is not possible, then see if you can combine that process or that process step with another process or another process step. So you can simplify or apply scamper on scamper itself and create your own recipes thereby showing that you are creative. So with that note, we have come to the end of this course. There is still something more left for you a project work. So I would encourage you to check out the next lecture which gives some idea about applying the principles of scamper and receiving a certificate. Thank you.